ladies. Let's get started in child's pose today. So bring your big toes together. Have your knees a little bit further apart if that feels nicer for your hips. Let your bum sink back towards your heels and either reach the hands all the way out in front or make a little pillow for yourself with your palms. And then just rest the head gently down. Give the hips a little sway from side to side. Finding somewhere that feels most comfortable for you. And then just let yourself settle into this position. So with your eyes closed, starting to notice and observe your breath. Just becoming aware of the rise and fall of your chest. The expansion, the gentle contraction of your belly. And just allowing your breath to move really naturally and effortlessly through your body. Just taking these few moments of stillness to really connect to your breath. Tune in to the sensations that are in your body today. And allowing yourself to move in a way that honours and respects how you're feeling. And so reach the arms out in front and we'll just take a little side stretch to the right. So walk the hands around to the right. Good. Just so you feel that gentle stretch down the side of your body, not so much through the front. Let the head relax all the way down. And then just reach a little with the left hand and gently draw back with the left hip. Take a full breath in through the nose. And a slow breath out. And come back through centre and then over to the other side. So just nice and easy. Reaching the right hand as far as it needs to go and then gently drawing the right hip back. Take a nice full breath in. And a nice slow breath out. And on your inhale, come back to centre. And then make your way onto your hands and knees. So just nice and easily coming forward, placing the wrists underneath the shoulders. The knees a little bit wider than the hips. And then give yourself a little sway from side to side. Just so you can really observe how your body's feeling today. Mindful of the knees and mindful of the wrists. Maybe even close your eyes and just let yourself move more naturally. And finding some stillness and we'll make a few cat-cow movements. So on the inhale, lift your bum and lift your chest. Just a little bit being mindful of the front of your body and your belly. And then on the exhale, we'll round the spine chin to chest and it's just a real gentle drawing up of the belly button just nice and gentle so using your breath to move you on the inhale you'll come to the cow pose where you keep space in the back of the neck and a little bit of opening through the chest and then on your exhale reversing it bum under chin tucks rounding through the upper back and just a gentle drawing up of the belly button let your eyes close and see if you can move nice and slowly and with your full awareness. And so each inhale is going to offer a little relief through the lower back just to release any tightness and tension. And every exhale it's just going to create a little bit more space through the upper back to release any tightness that might be creeping into the neck and shoulders. We'll just take one more, so a nice steady, slow breath in. And then releasing it all when you breathe out. We'll come back into a tabletop position and we'll do a calf stretch. So just straighten the right leg out behind you with the toes still tucked under. Then we're just going to sway sort of backwards and forwards just to get a little bit of length down the back of the right leg. So just nice and gently 
As you go forwards and backwards, it's a really light activation through the core muscles, just really light. Pressing through all 10 fingertips. So there's not too much weight in the wrist. Good. One more as you lean back. And then back to the tabletop. So slowly moving to the other side, just straighten the left leg out. And then again, the same thing as you rock forwards and backwards. See if you can keep the chest nice and lifted and the shoulders back. Weight in the fingertips to protect the wrists. And just that gentle activation through the core muscles. So nothing that feels cramping or compressing, but it's just a real slight activation for support. You can close the eyes if that feels better. And just be aware that the breath is moving consistently. One more as you press back. And then back to our tabletop. And so from here into lizard pose, so just bring the right leg forward outside of the right hand. Slide the left knee back if that feels right. And the right toes a little bit more forward. So just being really mindful of your level of flexibility here. We want to go super slow. So keep both of the hips facing to the front. And then just gently allow them to sink in as you keep your chest lifted. So press through your right foot and that will help to stabilize our newfound flexibility. With the chest lifted, that will help to relieve any tightness through the back of the shoulders. Allow the eyes to close. And then see if you can just let your body sink and soften in. The breath remaining constant, effortless. So then taking it into the hip a little bit further, just turn the right toes out, keep them flexed to protect your knee, and then just let the right foot fall out towards the right side. So letting the knee just fall away from your body as far as it needs to, noticing that you're going to be feeling different every day. So just making sure you're practicing in a way that is beneficial for you. So let the hips sink and the chest lifts. Keep the breath moving consistently and fully. And see if you can allow yourself just to soften gently in. Take one more inhale. And one more exhale. And bring the knee back to centre. And then step back into the tabletop. Give the hips a little sway from side to side just to release. A few little circles with your hips might feel really nice here. And then we'll move to the other side. So bringing the left foot out by the left hand, slide the right knee a little further back if that feels right. And then balance the flexibility with stability. So press the left foot in a little further into the ground and then feel your chest lifting up. Let the hips sink nice and low and then lift the chest up nice and high. So just nice and gently ease your way into it. Just gently draw the shoulders back. Allow your eyes to close. Full breath in. Slow breath out. And one more like that. Breath in. And then breath out. We're taking it again a little further into the hip, the left toes turn out, flex them to protect the knee, and then just slowly let the knee fall away from the body, pausing when it feels right for you. And then that's as far as you need to go. So just let yourself settle into that. See if you can relax a little through the hips and then lengthen just a little through the spine. Full breath in through the nose. Slow, controlled breath out. One more like that. Inhale, breath. And exhale to release. We come back to centre and back into the tabletop. Again, giving the hips a little sway from side to side. Maybe making a few circles. Just feel into what feels right for you to release. 
coming forward into like an upward dog variation might feel really good today. If it doesn't, please do not do it. Do what feels right in your body. Good. Coming back to a tabletop position, tuck your toes under and then lift your bum and hips coming into just a quick downward dog. The knees are nice and bent, the heels are nice and lifted. Press the chest a little further back towards your thighs. And then we're gonna walk all the way to the top of the mat. So just go nice and slowly. Keep your eyes open for balance and support. And then we'll come into a forward fold once we get to the top. So have your feet a little wider than hip distance apart. Bend your knees and then keep the hands on the ground for support. If it feels better, you're more than welcome to hold onto your opposite elbows, either in front of the shins or behind. Maybe you feel like clasping your hands and letting them fall away from your lower back. Anything that intuitively feels right for you. Even weight on the feet. You can give the hips a little sway from side to side and just release any tightness or tension down the back of the legs. If this feels like you're becoming dizzy or a little lightheaded, bring your forearms onto your thighs and just keep the head and heart in the same line. Gaze is down in front of the toes and just let yourself stabilize a little here. And so coming into our little Indo squat, bring the hands back to the ground, turn the toes outwards, and then just sit your bum and hips all the way down. So use your hands for support if that feels better, or you can use the elbows in towards the knees just to get a little bit more opening, but nothing forced. And then lift the chest, relax through the glute muscles a little, but draw your pelvic floor up and then even weight on the feet. See if you can bring your bum under just a little and lift the chest just a little. Eyes are open and gazing out in front to help you with balance. Or if you feel stable, close your eyes and really let yourself sink into this position. Full breath in. And full breath out. Let yourself sit all the way down onto the mat, bringing the soles of the feet together into the butterfly. First, we'll bring them in nice and close. So drawing your feet in nice and close towards you, holding onto either the toes or hands behind you, and then just give your knees a little bit of a pulse to release through the hips. So keeping the spine up nice and straight, tucking the chin just a little bit so that that length continues all the way up into the back of the neck. Just letting the belly be nice and soft. Letting your breath move through your whole body. And finding some stillness, then taking the feet further towards the front of the mat. So this will help us to get into the outside of the hips. We're gonna take a forward fold. So start to wiggle yourself a little bit forward, but keep the chest lifted. The chin is tucked, and then you're just gonna slowly allow yourself to hinge in pausing when your body asks you to stop. So being really mindful of how it feels. Practicing with this newfound awareness of the changes that are occurring in your body. And realizing that you might need to adapt or modify some of the poses that you're used to so that you can find more comfort and more stability. Letting your breath move naturally and effortlessly. And remaining really present in the moment. And on your inhale, we're slowly, slowly starting to rise up straight the legs all the way out in front give your toes a little point a little flex a little point and flex good and we're going to bend the right knee and bring the sole of the foot flat onto the ground a little bit wider than hip distance apart so closed twists are not going to feel comfortable but open twists might offer some relief through your lower back so bring the right hand out towards the side just to keep that knee and hip open and then reach the left hand more towards the back. 
So just twisting more so from the upper half of your body, go nice and easily. Your body will let you know what feels right for it. So the slower that you go, the more in tune you can be. You can keep your hands on the ground. If it feels right to bind, then just hold on to opposite fingertips, knowing that it's gonna be different for everybody and it's going to be different from you for you day to day. So nice and gently, nice and easy. Take a deep breath in and a slow breath out. Inhale to release. And then we'll take it to the other side. So bending the left knee a little bit wider than hip distance apart. Take the left arm so that you gently hold the hip open. Flex the right toes and then reach the right hand around just as far as it needs to be for you, yeah? So let your body and your breath guide you. Start to open up only to a position where it feels right, good, nourishing and beneficial. Your hands can stay wide. You can bind if that feels better. No tension or tightness in the neck. So everything is just nice and gentle. Trying to create space. And create openings through the body. Releasing tightnesses and tensions. And treating our bodies in a really respectfully, kind, compassionate way. And you take your next inhale, slowly come back to centre. And straight both legs out, give them a point, give them a flex. Good, and then we'll come down onto our backs. So bring the soles of your feet together. Good, and then let yourself lay down nice and slowly onto the mat. Tucking the chin a little into the chest. Bringing your arms overhead and drawing the shoulders down. So either holding opposite wrists or opposite elbows. Press the soles of your feet a little bit together and engage through your inner thighs. This will just help to balance your flexibility with stability. Full breath in through the nose. Slow breath out. One more like that, full breath in. And slow breath out. And bring one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly. And let yourself feel that connection to your growing baby. Feel that you are safe, supported and nurtured. And that your baby is safe supported and nurtured. You're practicing in a way that's beneficial for both you and your baby. But slowly drawing the knees together. Very appropriate, we'll come to happy baby pose. So take the knees wide. This might feel plenty to be here for you. So you can either just hold on to the front of the knees or onto the back of the thighs, yeah? If you want to take the feet up towards the ceiling or the sky, take the feet up so the soles of the feet point upwards and then hold on to any part of your legs that feel best. See if you can keep the tailbone pressing down into the mat so the spine stays nice and long. And then with no force or with no pulling, you just let the knees gently be drawn to either side of your body. If it feels nice to gently rock from side to side as you straighten one leg and bend another, do so very gently, very effortlessly. So just feeling in to what feels right for you today. Practicing in a way that is supportive, nourishing and beneficial. Full breath in, slow breath out to release and then wiggle yourself a little bit closer towards your wall or towards your tree and then we'll just take legs up the wall before we go to Shavasana. So bringing the legs up, letting yourself come gently back onto the ground. You can have the hands out to the sides, 
you can have the arms all the way overhead, hands onto your belly. So you really take this time to connect with your baby. The love and support that you have for it. And the love and support that you have for yourself. Have your eyes softly closed. Let your breath move naturally. And just give yourself a few moments here of pure stillness. Allow yourself that deep connection. When you're ready to come down from this, just nice and slowly make your way into your Shavasana, taking all the time that you need. There's no rush, just nice and easy, does it? Let your feet come wide, and if it still feels nice to lay on your back, just lay your body down. If it doesn't, then please take any comfortable position for your final rest. Bring the arms out to the side. Let your feet and toes flop out. Chin will draw to chest. Take a nice full breath in through the nose. And then fully release on the exhale. Allow yourself to soften in and be completely still for these next few moments of rest and relaxation.
we're ready to reawaken. Start to extend the length of your inhales and exhales. that gentle rise and fall of your belly and chest. Make a few little movements with your fingers and toes. Bring your hands to connect to your belly. Take a full breath in. Then a nice slow sigh out. Feel yourself a little more restored replenished and revitalized being gentle on yourself during this time your body is going through amazing changes be kind to yourself reach the arms all the way overhead point the toes gently towards the back full breath in Longer sigh out. And bend the knees one by one. Gently roll yourself over. Slowly pressing yourself up. Come into a comfortable seated position. Bring the hands to rest on your knees or thighs. Just take your time. There's no need to rush. Settle yourself into a comfy seated position. Smooth your breath out. Relax your shoulders down. Bring the hands together at the center of your chest. Slow breath in. Slow breath out. Feeling grateful for your body and the amazing transformation process that it is currently undergoing. Feel proud of yourself for taking care and time to nourish yourself today. Treating your body with kindness, respect and love during this time. And at the same time, Treating your growing baby with the love, kindness and respect. Namaste. Thank you ladies. Have a lovely rest of your day or a lovely rest of your evening, whatever time it is for you. And I will see you again soon.